So Mrigang, you have appeared for banking paper from South African Institute and you got an exemption then from IFOA. So I have not actually met anyone who has done this. So can you elaborate on this and what is the scope of this paper and uh, banking domain? Uh, I would say I, I was the first few from the IFOA to have been started the banking journey. So like we have SP papers, we are supposed to give two SP papers from IFO and one SA paper for our qualification. So what IFOA did was, it did have a mutual agreement with ASSA, the South African Institute of Actuaries, where banking exams were quite prevalent and has been occurring for a long time. So if I appear for the South African exam, South African banking exam to be specific, I get an exemption from the IFOA without having to do any other process. It's a direct exemption. I appear for that paper and I get uh, the exam letter from IFOA as well once I clear that. So what I did was I appeared for SP9 from IFOA and SP10 or the B100 from ASSA and the B200 which is the SA paper from ASSA to get the banking qualification.